This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, August 16th. Alabama's weather, uh, a typical mix of sun and showers around here. The better, uh, most widespread range should be south and east of here. Uh, let's go to some of the Skycam shots around the network. These were captured early this morning at 5 a.m. That's our Tuscaloosa Skycam. Uh, that is looking north from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. The sky there is cloudy, but it's dry. Let's look at the lights of the city of Gadsden and the Alabama Gulf Coast. Kind of unsettled down there this weekend uh, with scattered to numerous showers and storms. Today, tomorrow, and Sunday, if you're beachbound, the condition should improve next week with uh, increasing amounts of sun and fewer showers. Here's the deal. Got this uh, big trough, uh, broad trough over the eastern half of the nation. And uh, the axis of that will be sharpening up and staying a little west of the state. And uh, that's going to set up maybe a heavy rain event for southeast Alabama, Georgia, area south and east of here. But, boy, it's sure providing for some amazingly cool temperatures for August. Uh, those are highs yesterday. And parts of east Alabama barely got out of the 60s. In fact, Chihaw State Park did not get out of the 60s. Of course, they're, you know, at 2,400 feet. But their high was only 66 degrees yesterday. During the middle of the afternoon, they were hovering between 62 and 63 with clouds and rain and really a cold air damming kind of thing, as you can see, the wedge with the cooler air coming in from the east. Uh, West Alabama did see some uh, 80s, but even there, way below average. We note we have flash flood watches in effect today for the southeastern tip of Alabama down around Dothan, Ozark, and Geneva. Flash flood watches for North Florida, including Tallahassee, Apalachicola, Panama City, up into much of Georgia, and they're going to see a lot of rain over the next several days. Uh, severe weather, no formal risks today, just a few 5% zones around the nation. And you can see the axis of the heavier rain running from the uh, Gulf Coast up through Georgia into the Carolinas, and this is valid through the end of next week. This is the seven-day outlook. And in Alabama, the amounts are lighter over the northern half, but clearly we'll still have a chance of at least scattered showers and storms here. Tropical weather. We have Aaron, the tropical storm out in the Atlantic, and a wave that is over the Yucatan. We'll start with Aaron, and quite frankly, you know, the more impressive feature is that new wave there over Africa, the continent of Africa, and that'll be coming off the coast here this weekend, and man, that looks awfully impressive. But what's going to happen, that wave like Aaron is going to be dealing with all this dry air out there, and it's just going to have a hard time. Here's the model tracks on Aaron, and, and really the models all recurve this into the open Atlantic. You know, the Hurricane Seas uh, Center had been bullish on bringing this over toward the, uh, uh, you know, the Lesser Antilles maybe. And I understand they're thinking, you know, it looks like a weak system that's going to have a really hard time. And sometimes the weak, shallow systems don't get hung up and they don't recurve. But I don't know. The more I look at it, I don't think this bothers anybody. There's the intensity forecast on Aaron. A lot of the models weaken this and they fizzle it out completely, and this might not survive. Some tried to keep it a tropical storm. Here's the official track from the Hurricane Center, and they've started to make the adjustment toward the recurve. Instead of uh, you know a path below 20 north, now they've got it toward 25 north, and they weaken it into a tropical depression. As this thing gains in latitude out there, the water is cooler, the air is very dry, so I just don't know if this survives. Whatever, it doesn't look like a big player for anybody except the ships at sea. This is our system in the uh, southern Gulf, the Yucatan. It just looks totally discombobulated. And with very harsh winds aloft, don't know if this develops. Models are pretty uh, consistent now. They bring this into either Mexico or South Texas. Intensity models, most of them do not bring it to a tropical storm. A few of them do. Um, and again, it's just kind of a setup where I just think it's going to rain a lot over Mexico, maybe parts of South Texas, and that's about it. Don't think it bothers us. We'll check the GFS. This is the global forecast system, about at 1 o'clock this afternoon. You can see the trough axis west of the state, and the better moisture transport remains east of here. Uh, Panama City, Apalachicola, Tallahassee, up through Georgia and the Carolinas. Uh, still, though, we could see some showers today. This is the high-res NAM at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Again, the deeper moisture off to the east. Maybe a few spotty showers around today, but I wouldn't call it a rainy day. And like yesterday, the eastern counties could be cloudy. The western counties could be sunny. So the warmer readings, Tuscaloosa, Fayette, Demopolis, Hamilton. The cooler readings, 
Ashland, Lineville, Wadawi, Aniston. All right, weekend fans, this is 1 o'clock tomorrow as we kick off the weekend. Gulf Coast looks pretty wet, I'm afraid. Uh, uh, a lot of clouds and rain down there. This is suggesting the better rains over the southern half of the state. But again, clearly there will be enough moisture for showers here. Maybe some thunder, but the air should be kind of stable. No severe weather. Doesn't rain all day. You might see a little sun. But definitely a chance of showers tomorrow. And this is Sunday, and it's kind of the same thing. A pretty good moisture axis over us. So clouds, showers around, maybe a few pockets of thunder. In fact, really, this run looks wetter than previous runs for Sunday. Go to Monday of next week, the uh, trough beginning to uh, weaken. Heights are coming up. Down below that, still kind of moist. That's suggesting a chance of scattered showers and storms. And still, I don't, you know, highs for the weekend are only going to be in the low 80s. And on some days, we're not going to get out of the 70s uh, or tomorrow or Sunday. Monday, probably low to mid 80s. This is Tuesday. Same thing, pretty moist. Chance of showers and storms. This is Wednesday. Things aren't changing much. Here's Thursday. And a week from today, uh, the higher heights are north of here. A little weakness. And again, the chance of showers and storms. And, you know, every summer day we have the chance. But this year we've just had the greater coverage every day. And temperatures all week will be in the 80s. I don't think we see 90 based on these numbers. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the end of meteorological summer, August 31st. 588 ring here, 588 ring off to the west, upper low this over Iowa, but still a lot of moisture, and it's the same story. Chance of scattered showers and storms, highs probably upper 80s, if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great Friday, and God bless.